To every black conservative that feels like you're doing something when you assert that black people are voting for the Republican Party because we're we're on the plantation of the Democrats. Um, how can I say this without being shut up? Because you don't know what the hell you're talking about. How can you be gay and vote with the Republican Party when the Republican Party opposes your very existence? They felt it was a compliment to say that you're such a great example of a black father. But, you know, to me, it was an insult to be an atheist. You know what? Forget about it. You cannot be a free thinker, an atheist, or an agnostic. You can't be a Muslim. How can you be a Muslim and be in the Republican Party when they view you as the enemy? Everybody has a role to play in social justice, right? And, like, people need to figure out what their role is. Black people who vote with the Republican Party, maybe there are more issues important to you than black issues. But you have to understand, the Republican Party makes you conform to the idea that there is nothing wrong with the system. The only thing wrong with the system are the people complaining about it. And so you have to buy into this idea that there's absolutely nothing wrong with America. Everything is fine with America. And if you're black, you just need to pull your pants up. When I was in college in Texas, we had some racial issues on campus. That is a totalitarian view of the world, entirely clueless. Pun intended. Stacey Dash, they put her up there to say all black people want is handout. And they put you up there, Stacey, because they can't get away with saying it because they're not crazy as Ron Paul. Ron Paul just says whatever the hell he wants to say. And MSNBC goes through 10 reporters, 10 anchors every single year. You guys cycle through so many hosts. Because of what? Because they say things that you don't agree with? Because they cause controversy? The modern Republican Party is about conserving the status quo. Part of it is fear, another part of it is greed. And Bill O'Reilly, Sean Hannity, and all the other hooligans at Fox News will still be on the air. And if the Democratic Party does not get their act together and start being proud to be progressive and start being proud to be a liberal, then we're going to rain fire down on them just like we're going to do the Republican Party. I'm done.